Hi guys, Mama Beach here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a really special review on a completely unique item that I just picked up from Coach, and that is this little cutie. And this is a Kip Turnlock crossbody, which is a, sty a, a style you guys have probably seen from Coach quite a bit. It's pretty common. But this one is special because it is part of their upcrafted line, which means that three designers at Coach that they actually name first and last name in the description when I bought this, which I thought was so cool to give them credit, have taken apart this older Kip Turnlock crossbody and added all these elements from scraps and things that were available in Coach's warehouse. Now you can see the main reason I picked this up, other than it was unique, is the rainbow signature canvas, which is from Pride Month. You guys know I always try to pick up something during Pride Month because I am an LGBTQ plus supporter. Also, I just love rainbow stuff, so it's like a no-brainer for me to pick up something every June. But when I looked at their um, retail and their outlet collections that, that just they came out with at the beginning of, actually the end of May, I wasn't that enthused by anything. And then I saw this, which wasn't part of their line, but has the rainbow signature canvas and was labeled as a pride product. I was like, interesting. I think this is what I need in my life. So I want to take you on a tour of this unique little bag. I want to show you what fits. Um, and I want to show you some mod shots so that if you pick up a different upcrafted Kip signature turn lock, or if you have a regular Kip signature turn lock or are interested in the style, you will be able to know if this is for you. The first thing we want to do here is look at all the amazingly super cool detailed features that the designers have added to this bag. So they have changed the binding. So the binding on the sides is all redone and it's all done in rainbow colors, which is so cool. You can see here there is a back pocket, which unfortunately does not fit my smartphone. I really tried to jam it in there. I think if you had a really, really slim case or no case on your on your phone and it was a regular size phone, it might fit in here, but mine did not. It has a top handle, which I believe is the original leather. It didn't say it had been changed. So it's like a saddle brown color and which matches the color here. Then we have the turn lock, which opens. And inside we have this beautiful maroon color and you have just one slip pocket on the back wall two card slots on the front wall, but they're very generously sized. I feel like you could fit maybe two or three cards in each. And the inside is all leather, all leather, no fabric, which is amazing. So the unique features continue to the accessories that are hanging on it. And that is that we have this lovely brass metal hang tag with a leather hang tag that's kind of like a persimony, orangey, red color. And then they've added all these charms to it as well. There's a star, there's a Rexy, there's a little C, there's a tape. So really cute details. And then on the other side, they have added this um, Rexy charm that has, you can see the skeleton in, and then it has the sparkle like lacquer added to it. So it's interesting because I'm not really a charm girl, so I do plan to take this off. But I thought it was cool that they added it. It's not something that needed to be added. I mean, it's just like getting a free accessory with your bag. And honestly, it's something that I can probably resell and recoup some of the money I spent on this because I'm not a charm person. So I thought it was really interesting that they had this element on the bag and that it came with it. Definitely something to keep an eye out for if you are a charm person and you get an upcrafted bag, you might get a bonus bag charm, which it, which is awesome. Let's talk about what fits. And this is such a tiny, teeny, tiny little style. I hate to tell you, it doesn't fit much. I did check that my smartphone fits in the main compartment of the bag and it does. But if you have a max size smartphone or something really oversized, this is not going to work for you. I wanted to show you a full size wallet is going to be a no. A full size glasses case is going to be a no. If I wanted to carry a wallet that was slightly larger, I would go with something this size, which look rainbows, rainbows are everywhere. I would put that inside my phone and then maybe a couple of other small things, my car keys, an eye drops, a lip product, and that would be about it. If I wanted to carry something a little slimmer, I would go for something like this, like a card case that you could really slip down in here, or I would eliminate the wallet altogether 
and put stuff in the card slots here, a few cards, whatever I needed, my ID, a couple credit cards, put my cash or coins in the slip pocket. And then I could carry a larger item like my pouch that I always like to try to carry when I can. And the same type of things over to the side here, car keys, lip product. So it doesn't hold a lot. It's really more for your essentials only, going to a theme park, running real quick to the grocery store, really streamlined style. All right, let me get up and show you guys some mod shots of what this little guy looks like on the body. All right, I have this on the absolute longest setting. So I wanna show you what that looks like. Hangs really nice and low, very generous strap drop. I'm five foot nine, so you guys know a lot of times cross bodies aren't long enough for me and this works. And it is so nice and small. It really, you can wear it behind, you can wear it in front. It's just so compact and it's not heavy at all. Let me take a minute to shorten this strap to the shortest setting and look at all these holes and show you what that looks like. Here it is on the shortest setting. I mean, wow, that's way different than the longest. So there's a lot of adjustability here, which is nice. So let me show you what that looks like on me. You, I could, I would feel comfortable carrying it like this. It looks great as like a shorter crossbody carry, really close to the body. Let me swing it behind and show you what that looks like. Looks really nice. And if you're just a shorter person in general or a more petite person in general, know that this is gonna work for you just as well as it works for me because of all the adjustability of the strap. That's it for this video. I hope you guys will go check out Coach's Upcrafted line on their website. I think it's such a cool concept. I am in love with this little bag. I love that it's rainbow. I love that it's for pride. I love that it's unique to me and no one else will ever have one. I am so incredibly happy. I think I paid around $300 retail for this, which for a Kip crossbody is a little bit high, but for the amount of man hours that went into refurbishing this and the fact that it is unique, I definitely think it's worth the price. So go check out their website. I think I have a code below that I can put below if you've never shopped with Coach before for like $40 off your first purchase. I will look for that and put it in the description. Um, as always, if you guys have not subscribed, I hope that you will. And you will hit the little bell so that you're notified of my future videos. All right, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!